And it would be that Logitech has acquired Blue for $117 million. If you don't know what Blue is, they're just a company that manufactures microphones, microphone accessories, and all of that fun stuff. So my first thought when I read this headline was, oh boy, oh boy, this is going to be bad. Why is a computer peripheral company acquiring a microphone company? They don't know how to manage that. This is going to be bad. And then my second thought was, well, Logitech probably acquired Blue just for the sole purpose of getting access to the Blue Yeti line as well as the Blue Snowball line, which I actually still think is the case. That's probably the main motivating factor there. But then I thought a little bit deeper about this because I was thinking, why is a computer peripheral company acquiring an audio company? So I'll ask you guys one question. What goes hand in hand with video? Audio, that is correct. So let's go ahead and dive just a little bit deeper to try to understand the motivations behind this. So ignoring camera phones for just one second, what would you think is going to be one of the highest selling camera lines or camera companies? I'm gonna go ahead and speculate for a second and think maybe it's Logitech. And the reason I say that is because their webcams are owned by probably every single YouTuber out there or anyone who has wanted a decent video quality for their conference calls or Skype calls. And additionally, Logitech owns a company called LifeSize, which manufactures video conferencing products for the enterprise customer. So they are pretty well established in the audio or I should say video marketplace. They are very well known through the enterprise market with life size and the consumer market and creator market with the C920, C922 and the 4K Brio. Now going a little bit further, what is going to be one of the most popular microphone lines or microphone brands out there? Again, I'm going to go ahead and speculate and say it could possibly be Blue. Now, you could have the argument that no, sure is going to be the most popular microphone brand because of the SM58, the SM7B, the SM57, all of that stuff. But I would argue that with the current generation, the brand awareness just isn't there with sure. They see Blue much more frequently than they would an SM58. So I'm going to say that, that Blue may be the most popular microphone brand because that is another device that every YouTuber owns or has owned. Not, not 100%, but that's my guess. Most YouTubers likely have owned or do own it. So being that audio and video are so reliant or so parallel with one another and Logitech has seemingly done such a good job marketing and manufacturing and doing all of that with the C920, C922 and Brio, I think it's possible to assume that they will do a decent job at manufacturing, updating, marketing, doing everything for the blue USB microphone line. And one really good thing here is this could mean that we see more frequent updates and iterations of Blue's USB microphones, and maybe we'll finally get a USB dynamic microphone from Blue, which I think would be amazing because dynamic USB microphones that have USB and XLR out are ideal for podcasters. Now, not only will they be doing this for just the everyday gamer or YouTuber, but I think they're also going to really heavily leverage this acquisition to improve the audio gear that they're able to offer their enterprise customers because that is even a higher margin marketplace for them, or at least that's how I would interpret it. I don't, I don't know what their financials are. I'm just speculating here. Now, there is a possibility that this acquisition could end up being bad though. So they could completely abandon their higher end microphones and turn into nothing more than a Yeti company, which would be tragic because Blue has established a decent reputation with their higher end microphones that cost $1,000 to $4,000. And it would be sad to see them abandon that completely and just start pushing bundles of the Yeti with a shock mount and a boom arm saying, this is everything you'll ever need because that's likely where they would be making the majority of their money. So the reason I think this is a possibility is that I'm betting that the Blue Yeti and the Blue Snowball are Blue's highest volume items as well as their highest money makers. So they're really going to want to focus on that and Logitech being their new owners 
I bet Logitech would say we want you to make the most money possible and eliminating the higher dollar items would do that. And the reason I say that is because I don't think it's very far fetched to assume that a lot more people have 50 to $130 for a microphone as opposed to 500 to $4,000 for a microphone. So just with that information, you could assume that they're lower, more budget-friendly options are going to be their highest sellers. So in summary, do I think that Logitech is going to ruin Blue? No, they have a lot of experience with video, and I think audio is going to be a very similar for them in terms of business operations. So I don't think we're going to see Blue disappear overnight. But do I think Blue will slowly phase out their higher-end gear? It's complete speculation, but I think that's a very high possibility because Logitech, if you look at them, doesn't seem to sell too many $4,000 items except for the enterprise. So we'll end it there, and uh, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you think this is going to be good for Blue? Do you think it's just going to be good for Logitech? Or how do you think this will affect Blue's future products and how they market themselves?